As you can see, a strange creature swims up and- Holy sh- That's a real hand. Hey, what's up everyone? Vortex here. Welcome back to another reaction video. Guys, in today's video, we have 30 mythical creatures caught on camera that were only seen once. <laughs> That's the name of the video that we're gonna watch today. So I decided to watch a little bit something different, not just ghosts and paranormal stuff. Even though this is paranormal, right? These are creatures, even though mythical creatures, I'm not sure. <laughs> so basically what we're gonna watch today, it's a bunch of um, videos with supposedly some creatures that, you know, they come from myths, maybe from legends, urban legends, books, whatever. Um, I haven't watched the video. I just skipped a little bit through uh, the chapter series. That was just to see what kind of titles they have. And, uh, and I see a lot of stuff here like werewolves, uh, Yowie, I don't know what, Yowie, dragons, whatever. So I'm expecting to see something interesting here, right? When it comes to creatures, unlike, uh, let's say, I don't know, ghosts or um, demons or possessions, stuff like that. I'm not saying I tend to believe that uh, this kind of creatures exist, but somehow, you know, the earth is a little bit weird. Okay, we haven't explored everything, especially the deep ocean. We don't have any idea what's there. Okay, I think throughout the history, we only managed to go down there for like, maybe, I don't know, once or twice <laughs> throughout our lifetime. So we don't really know what's deep down in the ocean. And yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I tend to know, to believe that there, there is something that we, maybe we haven't found yet. You know, some sort of creature that is hiding somewhere in on some island, uh, maybe deep in, into the ocean or I don't know, maybe inside the, the earth. I know I, we don't know, like there's mountains, there's caves. Um, even though we have explored some of them, I think we still have quite a lot uh, of this earth that is unexplored. So we don't really know. We don't really know what's out there in these uh, woods and, <laughs> you know, in these um, caves and stuff like that. So anyway, guys, we're going to watch this one. Uh, we're going to see what exactly is going on, what kind of creatures we're going to see. And hopefully um, we're going to try to debunk them, obviously. We're going to... I'm, or at least I'm, I will try to debunk them and see if I can find a reasonable explanation for what we're gonna watch. Uh, but I'm, you know, I'm kind of excited to see, uh, to watch this video and see if we can see at least one, if if at least one of these videos uh, can convince me that there it's real, I will be glad. Even though I don't think so, but we'll see. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe. If you want to become members of my channel, just press the join button. And without further ado. Let's watch the video. Okay, so I made myself a little bit smaller. Uh, I want, uh, I would like you guys to see as much as you want, as you can from uh, from the screen, because usually I notice that uh, my body takes quite a lot from the screen. So I want you guys to be able to to see what's going on around here. So let's uh, start the video. Obviously, before we start the video, we're gonna have a little bit of coffee. <sighs> nice. All right, let's get ready. Hey, welcome to a new video. Everyone welcome loves you. legends and myths about mysterious creatures that are said to have lived on our planet thousands of years ago. What the heck am I watching here? Some right. people believe they really <laughs> existed, while others say they still live among us. Sure. Are you new to this channel? Make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell. And before we start, also like the video. All right. In the following video, we see a dragon sitting on a tall tower. The person oh. who captured this on camera said that he was able to get his camera out just in time to film the dragon and watch it fly uh. away. Unfortunately, there's very little information available about the video. It seems that the cars and motorcycles on the street didn't notice the dragon either. We also couldn't find where this video was recorded. So it's up to you whether you believe this is a real dragon or not. The way the dragon flaps its wings looks all right, let's uh, take a look at this one. Pretty realistic, but it could have also been made by a talented person with the computer. Yeah, exactly. Like, I don't know. It seemed a little bit weird. And the fact that uh, there was a lot of people out there in the streets with, uh, and they haven't noticed this creature. Plus, there's no, uh, there's no information. Like the dude says, there's no information about this creature, what happened, where it was recorded or anything like that. I mean, I don't know. Maybe it's a fake one. I, actually, I'm pretty sure this is a fake one. Looks like a CGI uh, type of video made, you know, like the dragon. 
Two friends from Israel accidentally, allegedly captured a mermaid on camera. A mermaid, am I right? They initially thought it was a seal that was wandering rocks. This, according to many people, is the most credible moment ever that a mermaid was filmed. That looked real. Wait. This, according to many people, is the most credible moment ever that a mermaid was filmed. The boys had immediately called the authorities, but after investigating, they could find no evidence. All they had was the video footage where the mermaid notices the boy, and then dives back into the water. To this day, it is still unclear what exactly the creature was. If this really is a mermaid, that would be pretty cool. But in fact, it's kind of scary too. D scary? I don't know. Why, why would it be scary? It's just a mermaid. I mean, mermaids I, are famous for um, to call people and uh, make them drown, you know, to jump in the water uh, when they call them. So, I mean, if they actually exist, you know, maybe there's some casualties and people dying out in the ocean and the sea because of the mermaids, right? Do you believe know. that mermaids exist? Let us know in the comments. There are tons of stories about a nocturnal creature that looks like a hairless dog with long legs, which has terrified people through the ages. Is this a chupacabra? No. This creature is called the chupacabra, and in 2008, a mysterious creature that appeared to be similar was seen. The creature ran across the road in an unknown direction, but there is other evidence that the chupacabra might actually exist. In 2014, a couple from South Texas, USA found a strange creature that had no hair in their backyard. They caught it in a cage and called authorities to identify it. However, no one could answer the question as to what kind of animal it was. Do you think this couple had managed to capture the legendary chupacabra? Uh -huh. Okay, the Chupacabra is uh, quite a famous one. I think it's um, from Mexico or something like that, Latin America. Uh, it's like famous there. A lot of people, even the, the name, I think it's, it comes from there. I, I can't, I'm not sure, to be honest. I, I haven't done my uh, proper research about, uh, about the Chupacabras. Um, however, I, from my memory, from what I've seen in the past about these animals and what I've heard about the Chupacabra, it's it doesn't really look like a, I mean the one in the picture here looked more like a dog to be honest in my opinion the one I know it's a lot taller the, the one that I remember watching and uh, reading about it's a lot taller it has like big uh, limbs you know the all four of them they're really big and the face it's a little bit um, I don't know scarier with big teeth and stuff like that so I don't know maybe that one's just so but simple dog, a poor dog who's been burned or something like that, uh, the, or maybe has some uh, uh, sickness and lost all the, uh, the fur uh, on his body. I don't, I don't know. All right. Anyway, <laughs> cool stuff so far. Let's see what, what else we have. Yowie hunters are known for always... Yowie. I, I don't know what's Yowie. Uh, again, this one, I, when I was scrolling through the titles of the... Um, of the timestamps here on the video i saw yaoi i don't know what's a yaoi i'm really curious about was being this one. ready to catch the mysterious creature they shared some bizarre theories about how a yaoi managed to disappear when the fire started in the australian forest one theory suggests that the yaoi is super fast wait is yaoi bigfoot is that the name they gave him in australia while others say that the beast can sense danger ahead of time and knows how to hide quickly the last theory is the strangest because it says the Yaoi can transport itself in different dimensions. The hunters asked the authorities if they had. Yeah, I think Yaoi it's um, it's Bigfoot. Ever succeeded in capturing a Yaoi, but they had not. Anyway, what do you think the creature is that they captured on camera here? Let me know in the comments. Maybe just someone who was playing a prank on on those people. I really don't believe in Bigfoot. I don't. I don't know why. I don't. I, I really don't believe in him. Unlike other creatures, you know, from the deep ocean that we have, we've maybe never seen. Uh, this dude, he should. We should have seen him, right? The Bigfoot, um, or at least take a picture or a video. But every time uh, tr someone tries to take a picture or a video of uh, Bigfoot, it always looks like uh, he's trying to escape and doesn't want to show his face. Uh, and there's always like this uh, very questionable. Um, 
pictures of him that I really don't believe them. But anyway, and this one is no exception to, to the rule. Video footage was taken with the phone and it's quite Angel caught in the mosque. All right. I wasn't expecting angels in this video, but quality is very okay. low. <laughs> However, this video is considered one of the most credible moments an angel was captured on camera. It is said to have been recorded in a mosque in Azerbaijan. The angel was seen when a number of people were praying. Some people think it could be a spirit or that it's just sunlight. But some people in the comments, but some people in the comments of the video agree that it was an angel. Also, the video would be from before the time when people edited videos. Uh, let me go back here because I'm kind of curious. Um, I don't know. To me, it looks more like the uh, the sunlight. Also, the video would be from before the time when people edited video. Yeah, it looked to me from like a, more like a sunlight coming out, coming through the window. Not, it didn't look like a person sitting there. But maybe I'm wrong. Yes. The rake is a creature first mentioned in ancient urban legend, describing that okay. it hunts people at night when they're asleep. The rake has a pale appearance with creepy eyes that stare at you. Sometime in the year 2000, a picture of a strange looking creature that people think was the rake was posted on the internet. This was pretty big news at the time because local news channels would have even reported it. But besides the picture, the creepy cr I mean, I've seen this picture many times. Um, it's almost like nowadays is like the the main one to show uh, when something happened, right? It's like the best uh, picture to show when, uh, whenever you want to show something creepy on the uh, on camera or stuff like that, you know? To this day, I don't really know exactly what is this creature, okay? Again, I've seen it many times. The reason why I'm saying it's weird one, Forget the eyes, okay? The eyes, they might have been uh, from the camera, the flash or something like that. It's his arms and these legs here, this part here where he should have like, you know, like uh, his uh, personal parts. These arms look really skinny. The shoulders look big. So you would expect someone with big shoulders to have big arms as well, right? The legs look skinny as well. And... Look at this mouth and the nose here, right? Even if it was a mask, that's a really creepy mask, uh, in my opinion. But again, I, it's not the face that uh, convinced me that it's something different. It's the body. The body looks really, really weird. Unless it's a really weird person with a very strange body. I don't think uh, this one is a fake one, to be honest. Again, I've seen it many, many times. And I've always looked at this picture and tried to understand what I'm looking to. And I never figure out what. But anyway, let's uh, keep moving. Creature would have also been captured on camera. A man decided to explore a sewer near his house during the day. After he got the feeling something was hiding there. As you can see, the creature looks around the corner. Okay. For a few times and then disappears from the picture pretty quickly. People think this creature could have been the rake, since both of them look very similar. That was a quite uh, fast movement right there, right? But anyway. In the year 2010, in a small village in Mont... Dragon coat in Mexican village. Terry, Mexico, okay. a small creature was captured that looked like a dragon. Many people were witnesses when they saw something flying through the air. By the way, this place is known to be superstitious, and it's even said that they saw witches flying. But apparently in this village, okay. <laughs> they've also seen dragons. Although the video suggests that it may be CGI, others said that it's probably a species of bird. It could possibly be a related species to the Draco Mindanensis or the Draco Lizard. After all, these two look very much like a dragon, only they're yeah, much smaller. True. If dragons never existed, then these little dragons do come close. And who knows, maybe there were bigger dragon species in the past. In the following right. video, a team from Animal Planet went looking for mermaids. After hearing that people had observed them on the northeast coast of Greenland, they went to study the sea via a submarine, and at one point they were shocked. As you can see, a strange creature swims up and puts its hands against- Whoa, wait, what? They were shocked. As you can see, a strange creature swims up and- Holy shit, that's a real hand. 
and puts its hands against the window of the submarine. The team of researchers who took these shots told their story in an Animal Planet documentary. According to them, there is a good chance that mermaids are real, but they can also look pretty scary. What we saw in the footage was definitely not a Disney mermaid either. So as one of the men looks around, we see flippers that appear to be from a strange creature. Could this half man, half Dude. fish be a mermaid? Oh wait, look at that face. Unless they're pranking, okay, maybe they have someone with them, but I don't see any scuba gear or stuff like that. That person, uh, I don't know what depth is uh, in the sea, right? Uh, this vehicle that they're using, but let's pretend they have like a friend who uh, was diving there, you know, without any gear, uh, holding his breath. That person, I don't think he will survive without any scuba gear and everything, right? I don't know, this one is a really weird one. Or could the footage yeah. have been tampered with? What do you think? Hmm. That was a good one, actually. Maybe mermaids are really uh, real, right? <laughs> Again, we don't know what's the, down in the ocean, right? We've never been... I mean, we've been there a couple of times, but we've never explored it properly. I think, like, uh, uh, according to scientists, from what I remember, we only uh, managed to explore probably, like, 20% or even less of, of uh, the um, ocean. So who knows what the hell is out there? The skunk ape, also known as Florida Bigfoot, is an ape-like creature said to inhabit the southern forests of the United States. A number of people claim to have seen this large hairy monster roaming the nearby forests several times. It's also said by many to have been one of the most- Another Bigfoot one. Man, I really, really don't believe this Bigfoot bullshit. I wish someone would come to me or send me a, a real video or a real picture of Bigfoot. Or even a, a good story or something like that, but every time- it looks like all these pictures or videos that uh, they've been taken from this Bigfoot, they all look like this, okay? This bullshit here with really poor um, graphic, you know? You can't even see anything. Uh, and also, it might be always a person dressed like a big, like a Bigfoot, right? Like a monkey. Credible sightings of a skunk I, I don't really the believe The creature them. is also said to love being around swamps. The skunk ape is also believed to be a cousin of Bigfoot, as it has many similarities and is very tall. This creature yeah. is especially popular in the southern United States, especially in Florida, and he is said to be sighted regularly. Some scientists believe that he really exists and that he lives in the forest there. Unfortunately, there has never been 100% proof of these claims, exactly. although there are several videos circulating of this monster. But skeptics say that this could also just be people who have dressed up. Exactly. A werewolf is one of the most mythical creatures. All right, let's see a werewolf. Actually, I'm kind of curious about to see if uh, there's an actual werewolf or some bullshit. ...that exists in almost every culture. According to the stories, werewolves can look like normal people, but at night, especially when it's a full moon, they turn into creepy and dangerous bloodthirsty wolves. This next video footage is terrifying because someone caught a huge wolf hiding in the bushes. According to the man who had uploaded the video, this is a real werewolf and the creature regularly comes close to his house. So he decided to set up a camera and finally managed to capture it on camera. Take another good look at the creature. It seems to have a strong muscular body and glowing eyes. It might remind you a little of the werewolf. Okay, so... ...to have a strong muscular... First of all, we can't see pretty much anything, okay? First. Second, I presume this is the head and this is the body, but he's kind of looking backwards, okay? And if there is one thing that uh, wolves are really famous for, is that they cannot turn uh, their head backwards. They always turn with the whole body. Uh, so, I don't know, this one is... Look, but that, you don't, can't really see anything here, right? Your body. I'm just uh, trying to understand what's the position of this shit, but it, it doesn't look like anything to me. And glowing eyes. Even now, okay, so again, this is the eyes, okay, whatever, the mouth, but you can't really see anything. And I presume this is the body and the tail here. This white stripe here looks like a tail. But again, a wolf, he cannot do that. He can't move uh, his head like that. And look backwards, so not. Nah. It might remind you a little of the werewolf we all know from fairy tales and legends. Maybe werewolves are real and even living among us. So be or maybe careful. Not. And, and definitely don't go to the forest at night, especially when it's a full moon. 
The following video got millions of views on Facebook and other Dead Dragon their social media after people claimed to have found a dragon in a remote location. According to the video, the dragon is said to be in the city of Magsese in the Philippines. But other articles say it's in China, or even Mexico, or Yemen. So it's unknown exactly where this is, but we better ask ourselves. Uh, I think I've seen this one um, in the past. I'm pretty sure they already found out that it was a hoax, but I can't remember if it was this one or, or if it was something else, but I don't know. Did this dragon just fall from the sky? Some people say it's a work of art created by an artist named Juan, but there are those who insist that dragons have really existed and that they could be alive even today. Not every place on Earth has been explored, but I think because of the size of the dragon, we probably should have seen them if they're real. Exactly. Now, angels are known to protect you, and if we are to believe the- Okay, this one I already know. This one, is, it comes from a game. Um, it was like a part of the game where uh, they show this video. I think it was in the intro of the game or something like that. Or if it wasn't a game, if it was like, uh, what is called? It was like a trailer for the game or something like that. I, but I know it's not real, this one. I, I've seen this one already in the past. And I know for sure it's a fake one. I mean, yeah, it's a fake one because it's part of the game. The following footage from 2012, this is exactly what happened. The moment was also captured on a traffic camera. You can decide for yourself if this video is real or not. But we see an angel teleporting a man and saving his life. Now, many people are skeptical about this video footage. The man driving the truck panicked and got out to see what had just happened. However, the angel and the man who had been saved had disappeared without a trace. Now, it, uh, again, this one was uh, part of a game, okay? Uh, again, I can't remember what's the, what's the name. Uh, anyway, let's move on to the next one. Many people wonder if Moby Dick was a real whale. It's believed that the novel was indeed inspired by true facts. The story is about George Pollard, a man who sailed his boat in the Pacific Ocean and was rammed by a huge sperm whale. However, this whale was said to have been white and has not been spotted since. But would an enormous white whale really have existed? That is the question. Another giant white whale seen in the Pacific Ocean in the 19th century was called Mocha Dick and a story was also written about it. But what about nowadays? Do giant whales exist in the 21st century? It seems that they do, because recently, someone accidentally saw a huge whale and- A huge whale? Whales are huge! <laughs> Why is that the news? Alright, whales are huge, guys, okay? There's <laughs> nothing new about that one. When you see a whale, you don't look at, uh, at it and say, Oh my god, that whale is so huge. It is huge. It's the, the biggest creature on earth, right? <laughs> and everyone or the largest, called I don't know. it a real Moby Dick. Albino whales are very rare, so it was a surprise to see the whale on camera. The man who was lucky enough to take a picture of him said it was a dream to encounter- Actually, I think this one is not even a big one. I think this one is a, a, a small one. Encounter <laughs> such a whale. When we were children, we all definitely believed in fairies, especially after seeing the famous Disney movies. Also, our parents fooled us by saying there is a tooth fairy. But what if our parents didn't lie to us, and a different fairy still exists? I don't know, I I, I think this is a, a thing from America with the tooth fairy and stuff like that. I, I don't remember having this in my country, in Romania, where I grew up. I don't think here in Europe as well, it, they don't really use this story. But who knows, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm pretty sure this is something more like, um, you know, an American thing. <laughs> Here's a video showing something that looks like a fairy. However, there are those who think it's just an insect or dust. It's a but bat. if you look closely, looks like a bat. You can see that it has a body and wings. Yeah, a bat has a body and wings. <laughs> this video is from 2007 and looks pretty believable. What do you guys yeah, think? I don't think Could it's there be a fairy. real fairies on Earth? Let yeah. me know in the comments. It's a bat. In the following video footage, we see a Chinese dragon that seems to fly upwards and eventually- This one looks so fake. This is absolutely fake. The movement and the look of it, this is a, a CGI 100%. He disappears into the clouds. Yeah, In the background, CGI. you can hear screams from some people, which makes the video quite believable. However, many people wondered why the dragon flew up. 
Others say that the video footage was edited and the dragon was animated. But that exactly. still didn't explain why people sounded so surprised in the background. Could the it's easy if you put a bunch of uh, friends together and you uh, ask them to scream so you can uh, fake your video, they will do it for you. So that's why you hear people screaming in the background. Dragons have traveled through a portal to another world? Or where do you think this Chinese dragon went? <laughs> if you know Bigfoot, then you also know the Yeti. Okay. The Yeti is a giant primate that- This is the version uh, of uh, the snowy mountains or something like that, right? The Yeti. Which is basically a Bigfoot, but it's, it's supposed to be like more white, I think, or gray, and he lives somewhere in the snow, in, in mountains with snow. It's been sighted regularly in the Himalayas. The existence of both creatures is considered a myth by science, but there's video footage in which the Yeti has been captured on camera. One of the times he was spotted was in the Aegea Republic of southwestern Russia by a group of guests staying in the mountain hut. This group claimed they heard footsteps and the crunching of snow before investigating the source of the sound themselves. The Yeti waited, but quickly fled. To prove their findings, the group took a plaster cast of one of the giant footprints left behind. However, the Yeti would not live only in Russia. Similar sightings occurred in Pennsylvania and the United States, and he was even captured on camera at night once. Other locals have reported more frequent reports of strange noises at night, and one couple said that they had seen a Yeti in their backyard. I don't know. Again, Yeti, Bigfoot, uh, Yowie, whatever it was, the other one, uh, the Scan Cape, or whatever it was, another one. So they have different names. None of them, I actually believe they uh, they exist. To be honest, I still believe there's uh, these are either people who are dressed like uh, apes and uh, just to play a prank, you know. And they it's always all together with the cameraman and stuff like that. And they like to play pranks and make these fake videos for like views and stuff like that. But anyway, I don't know about this one. Let's see. Let's see the next, uh, the next video. This video of two angels flying through the clouds in Boa Vista, a municipality in Brazil, went viral sometime in 2014. The fact that people managed to capture one angel on camera is already unique. But in this video, we see clearly two angels emerging from the clouds. However, some people believe that this was made with CGI. Unfortunately, yeah, that's we cannot it looks find to me the original well. video of it. So we could not verify this claim. But if these had been real angels, how cool that moment- It looks like CGI to me, honestly. But who the hell knows? It must have been for the man that captured this on camera. Actually, you, we, you can actually um, realize it's a CGI because of the way they both fly. This is- How cool that moment must the have- mo The movement of their legs and the uh, wings, you know? They kind of have the same position, which uh, to me it looks like- they created one angel and they uh, with CGI and made him fly and everything. And then they just copy and paste and made the other one. And uh, they have the same movements, you know, the, the legs, they keep the legs in the same position. Then for the man that, you know, uh, and the, the wings, they move in the same position. So in the following yeah. video, we see the head of a mermaid. All right, another mermaid here. Let's see. <laughs> disappearing into the water. The video is said to have been shot at a small lake somewhere in Jamaica. When the creature comes out of the water, we see. Nah, I don't think this one. First of all, they say it's in a lake, so I don't think mermaids will, uh, they actually live in lakes. At most, if they exist, they live in uh, in the sea or the ocean, but not in lakes. See that it has long, dark hair. The person... Plus, it's just the back of a head of a lady. Maybe it was just someone who was uh, taking a, you know, swimming there. And they j she just went inside the water, inside the water and... It looks like it was a mermaid by now. Filming it is shocked. This one is And as a result, sure. the mermaid disappears under the water. According to the story, the mermaid swam against the current. But according to the person filming the event, the current would have been much too strong for someone to swim into. Could this have been a real mermaid swimming away here? What do you think? No. The ocean is a scary place <clears throat> by itself. Umi Bozu. Yumi Bozu. What's the name of this one? What's this? I don't even know what this one is. But according to a legend, a creature called the Umibozu is said to lurk there. The creature is of Japanese origin and means sea monk. What makes the Umibozu so terrifying is that he doesn't appear in the middle of the night or emerge from the eye of the storm. But he announces himself. When the water's calm, he shows his alien, giant black head and sends ships and sailors into the water and destroys them. It's also said that the Umibozu can grow as tall as 33 feet or 10 meters, and its appearance is marked by other ocean phenomena. 
Before it appears, sailors get a gnawing feeling that something's coming. This one looks, looks CGI made anyway. And a strange so. sensation in their stomachs. It's said that sailors refuse to go on the water if they even feel that something's wrong. I haven't seen anything. Like, what is the picture or of the Wumibozu here? Which one was? So said Ed and sent ships. Is this one? Is this supposed to be the picture of him? Looks more like a statue to me. Sailor Paul in their stomachs. Anyway. It's said that sailors refuse to go on the water if they even feel that something. Or maybe it's this one. This one is a fake one for sure. It looks. Uh, you sailors can see all the the things in the background here, like designs or uh, things like that. This is CGI made 100% sure. So if this one is the one that they are trying to show me that uh, the, the Umibozu one, it's absolutely fake. Feeling that's to go on the water if they even feel that something's wrong. All right. Let's Do see. Do you believe next. in gnomes? You can say that they no. are just little people <laughs> and there's nothing unusual about them because we also have people in real life who do not grow very big. But in this next video, someone apparently captured a real gnome on camera. The gnome appears to be straight out of a fairy tale. Yes, unfortunately the quality of the video was filmed with a crappy camera, but you can see someone very small and wearing unusual clothes. According to the video, the gnome supposedly came from the forest nearby and hides there more often. If you look close, I don't know, dude, why, why do people always record these videos with shitty cameras? I don't understand this. You have a uh, one in a lifetime opportunity to uh, record something crazy, you know, uh, going on. And there's always this creepy camera. I don't understand. Everyone has a phone in their... Uh, uh, in their pockets nowadays, which is an iPhone or Android, whatever you want, a Samsung. And they always take these stupid pictures with crappy quality, with crappy videos. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it, man. Closely, you can see that the little creature looks like a medieval wizard with a long hat and cloak. It's said that the main reason we never encounter these mysterious creatures is because they are good at hiding themselves. But this person managed to capture one on camera that may be proof of the existence of gnomes. That, that's so stupid to me. I, I don't understand this one. The quality is so bad that I can't figure out what's, what am I watching. Whatever. Let's see the next one. Could mermaids really exist after all? <clears throat> if we are to believe the following video from the YouTube channel Bluestone National Park Resort, it does. The video is only five seconds long. But perhaps this is proof that mermaids do not just appear in Disney movies, but are really the mythical creatures that can swim around in the ocean. The video was apparently shot from a family in Northampton, England, when they were on vacation at Bluestone. They were on their way to the island when their youngest son Tom. Now this one looks CGI. Tom was shocked to see some. Plus, why are these people on the boat there? They don't have any reaction. Thing moving in the water. According to the story, he couldn't believe what his eyes were seeing. The video shows the mythical creature swimming. No, it looks fake. It looks fake. Right, right there where it goes under the, the water. He couldn't believe what his eyes were seeing. The video shows the mythical. Here, this uh, looks really fake. The way it's uh, it's supposed to be go inside the water, but it's not. It's really fake. Creatures swimming away from the boat. CJ made for sure. A Chinese village in the northern province of Another Hebei dragon. was terrified after they found a dragon skeleton, nearly 66 feet or 20 meters long. The place where the alleged dragon bones were found created a huge crowd, and the video was immediately uploaded to the internet. However, many people think it was fake, and that yeah. someone just decided to fool the people of the village. But you may be surprised to know that there are real dragons living among us. Here is the Komodo dragon. I know what? that, but uh, it's just the name. It's called Komodo dragon. Doesn't mean he's a dragon, right? He's a lizard. Largest living lizard that can grow more than 10 feet or 3 meters long, and weigh up to 375 pounds. This is, this is something that bothers me quite a lot, actually. A lot of people, they look at this, uh, the Komodo dragon, and they're like, oh, he's a living dragon on our planet. Just because <laughs> they call it dragon, it doesn't mean it's a dragon, okay? It's a lizard, okay? It doesn't, uh, to be a dragon, he should be uh, something completely different than what we see here, okay? At this point, we can call the crocodiles as well dragons, right? We can call any lizard dragon. Just because uh, it's in the name, it doesn't mean it's a dragon. Okay, uh, I don't know why people always, uh, when, whenever they talk about dragons, they always give us an example, the Komodo dragon. That's the name, <laughs> Komodo dragon. That's how they call it. It doesn't mean it is a dragon. Pounds, anyway. or 170 kilograms. 
This creature is truly enormous, and it is the closest relative to the dragon. How do you know? <laughs> How do you know? <laughs> it's the lo crocodiles. They crocodiles lived on the, on this earth for like uh, millions of years, right? If anything, I think crocodiles are more related to the dragon than this fucking Komodo. If the following video is to be believed, angels can also attend rock concerts. Yeah, this of course. band from San Diego. Because that's what they do. <laughs> It's like, <laughs> the angel he goes to the god, he's like, you know what? I, I got tickets to this uh, concert, I'm gonna go and watch it, and maybe they will let me on stage sing with them. <laughs> Diego is said to be known for singing and worshipping god. Not surprisingly, an angel was seen on stage during a concert in... It's just the lights, guys, come on, oh my god. Now everything they see, it's like... <sighs> This is so stupid. Cedar Falls, USA. You can see the lights in the background, okay? You have red and uh, yellow and white here. And if you see the lights of um, supposedly angel here, the color of it, you know, it's red with yellow with white. This is just a combination of all these lights in the background. And maybe you know, on the camera, they, it, it's that glare or something like that that catches it and looks like an angel, but it's no hey, angel here. The man Come who on. took the picture could not believe it and first showed the picture to yeah, the person standing. I'm pretty sure he was, uh, oh my God, what happened there? An angel on the stage. Next to him, looking at what place the angel was standing, it looked just like it belonged in the band. The man immediately ran up to the stage to show the program director, and he too claims that the photo was not photoshopped. No, it's not photoshopped. It's just a glare from all the lights in there and... Uh, Oh man, all right, whatever. The diver from Australia was enjoying Another filming mermaid. some small fish in the ocean. When he saw a figure approaching from the distance, the water looks greenish due to the algae. But what happens next is pretty scary. Out of nowhere, a mermaid appears and swims to the surface of the ocean. Could it be that there are human-like creatures swimming around in our waters? The I don't know, this one again uh, looks kind of fake to me, this one. Except for the one that was the, uh, in the sea that went uh, on the uh, animal planet as well in uh, the documentary uh, with the hand and everything. Everything else, uh, all these mermaids that I, they've been shown here in this video, I think they're kind of fake, all of them. That one looked real because it was really deep inside the sea, right? So it's a, a lot harder to fake. Uh, but this one, it's easy. If it's a lake, anyone can uh, dress. Uh, they have this costume, I think, to the aquariums. Um, where a, a lot of ladies, they dress like mermaids and then swim inside the water. So it's kind of easy to, to fake this one, to be honest. The diver also says that he was shocked when he encountered the mermaid. However, some people in the comments say that it's probably a person in yeah, a costume. Yeah, exactly. But this has never been officially proven. The creature <clears throat> actually looks like a mermaid. But whether if it's a real one or not, nah, we nah. will unfortunately never find out. This video footage has made many people think. The dragon flying over some mountains in China was reportedly observed in 2016. Although it's difficult to see, many people believe that this was a real dragon. Of course, there were also people who thought that the video footage was edited. But some people believe that because the video footage is from China, it would be possible that dragons exist there. It's also suggested that it might be a pterodactyl, a flying rep- I'm not saying dragons are not real, okay? I mean, not that they're not for sure. We don't have them anymore, but there has to be a sometime in in the past, you know. At some point in the past, for sure something existed. I'm not sure why they disappeared or where. Because here's the thing, right? When you talk about dragons, you look at a kind of a, a little bit of history, right? From medieval times, you know, uh, when the year 500 and so, and you see this race of. Um, knowledge about dragons in from hundreds of years ago thousands of years ago and they all come in different parts of the world almost at the same time even though there's no real connection between these places like in europe and asia you know uh, so to me there has to be something there or it was something there at the time some sort of creatures that uh, resemble these dragons Maybe they've been hunted and killed, so now they don't exist anymore. Or maybe because they were hunted and killed, they, now they're hiding, thinking that if they come out... But, you know, every now and then we should see some dragons flying around the, the sky. Uh, personally, I haven't seen one, but, you know. Uh, anyway, this one looks a little bit fake to, be, to, to me, to be honest.
tile that went extinct millions of years ago. Others say it may have been a promotional video for the series Game of Thrones. The quality of this video is not very good, but according to many people, this is one of the most credible angel sightings ever captured on camera. The angel was seen at the Great Mosque in Mecca. In the video, we see the angel descending to the top of the Kaaba. It is thought that the angel showed up because there were many people praying at the The angel is said to have been seen for several seconds before finally disappearing again. Do you believe angels exist, or have you ever seen one? Let us know in yeah. the comments. Again, really bad quality of this video. I don't know how the hell they are recording these videos, but to me it didn't look like anything there. Maybe just some lights or something like that, you know? Comments. Believe it or not, but there are multiple reports of mermaids being spotted in the Another Philippines. Another mermaid. And this next video could very well be real. According to the story, the mermaid is said to roam the waters of London Beach Resort in Gensun. A woman named Jovelin Bellinas took out her camera and managed to film the back of a mermaid with blonde orange hair. In the video, you can hear people talking who are very shocked. But according to them, this would not be the first sighting of a mermaid. The mythical creature would appear to go ashore when high waves were present. Some say the mermaids even swarm the beach. Do you believe? Oh my, it might be just a fish or some sort of uh, seal or something like that. Believe these people? In the following video, someone managed to capture an angel on camera at the top of a mountain. Unfortunately, we cannot find out whom or where exactly this was filmed, but we can clearly see an angel appear on top of the mountain and then disappear again. Although the quality of the video is not very good, you can see that it looks like a humanoid figure and changes into another form. No, it doesn't look. It looks more like a smoke or something like that. It doesn't look like humanoid to me. This really have been an angel? Maybe there was just smoke uh, coming from somewhere. Maybe someone was making a campfire there. <laughs> Chances are, if you watch Peter Pan as a child, you're already familiar with fairies. But apparently elves also exist in real life. If the following video is to be believed, this tiny human skeleton with skull, spine, and ribs was found in a falcon's nest. These little creatures called pixies are very popular in southwest England folklore. According to lore, they are elf-like spirits and troublemaking fairies. Usually like Tinkerbell, they are dressed in green, and you'll find them dancing happily under the light of the moon, tune of frogs and crickets. You might think that's as innocent as can be, but their favorite hobbies are scaring people and leading travelers down the wrong path. Even if you don't believe in these kinds of creatures, now this is a weird one, but uh, again, it might be a fake one for sure. I'm not sure. Okay, now yeah, because I was wondering if um, if just if it's just a big skull, but it's recorded from a distance to make it look like it's a, a small one. But now I see the hand of this uh, person here, and that tiny skull. I don't know. Maybe it's a. I don't know. Maybe it's a good. It's a real one. Finn is actually an elf. What do you think? All right. Disney romanticized mermaids in its cartoons. Again, mermaids? And when we Holy think of shit. this mysterious creature, we often imagine a beautiful woman with a fishtail. We also imagine them living their lives peacefully deep in the ocean. But do they really look as beautiful as we think? And the most important question is still whether mermaids really exist. It's hard to answer, but if the following video is to be believed, there is a real mermaid floating in the water here. Unfortunately, the video footage is not that clear, but it clearly seems to have a long fish-shaped tail and also has a human body. However, this was not- How, how can you tell from there? Because uh, if, to me, it didn't look like a human body. It looked like just like a tail of a fish. The first time people captured mermaids on camera. Fortunately, the quality of these videos is often on the low side. Now this looks, uh, I mean, I think it's fake. So it remains a mystery whether this was actually a mermaid or not. <laughs> Here we see a descending angel, captured on a surveillance camera at a shopping mall in Indonesia. It's hard to believe, but we see an angel descending, only to eventually rise again and disappear. It is said that angels can take on different forms, and this video footage clearly shows that. Right after the angel is gone, a group of people come running to the scene to see what had just happened, but they were too late because the angel had already disappeared. I don't know, that one was weird. There was no lights. Uh, there, so it couldn't be uh, a, like the one in the on the concert, right? Let me but they try were too to go late back a because second. The okay, so looks like it has a head here, and this would be the wings. It's not a play of lights, and why he would be in the mall? 
he came for shopping or why? And why he would come down and then just fly away and disappear? Just happened. But they were too late because the angel had already disappeared. I don't know. That was a weird Do one. Do you believe dragons really existed? In almost every culture out there, there are variations of the existence of dragons. From America to Europe to Asia, everybody has depictions of dragons with all sorts of different names. One of their earliest mentions dates back to the ancient Sumerians and Greeks. Generally, dragons share common characteristics, such as a snake's body and a poisonous breath. Depending on the myth, dragons can either be evil or benign. They can offer protection, but they can also be the most dangerous creature you've ever encountered. In this next video, a person claims to have captured one on camera, somewhere in Pennsylvania, USA. Although the video looks pretty believable, some people think it was just a bird. What mythical creature do you believe really exists? I gotta say, this uh, video was really interesting with all these creatures. Um, some of them, I'm, I'm really, um, you know, the one with the mermaid here. That one was really, really good one. Everything else, I don't know, they kind of look fake to me, pretty much all of them. All those mermaids uh, videos, they were fake. All this other um, uh, Bigfoot one as well, you know, pretty much all these videos here, except for that one. They look fake, I'm not sure. The rake as well, this one, it's another one that looks uh, kind of real, but I don't know. Let me know you, what you guys think after watching this whole video. What do you think? Do you, is it real? Is it, I don't know, fake? <laughs> Let me know. Anyway, that was the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you want to become members of my channel, just press the join button and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.